Hello, guys. Good evening. Welcome to the class, Catherine and Eric, Guillermo. Good to see you here. How was your day at work, Guillermo? Did you have many things to do? Are you there, Guillermo? No, <laughs> maybe not. And what about you, Catherine? How was your day? I was a little busy, but I can go to the work because my daughter is sick. You couldn't? Uh-huh, couldn't. Ah, okay. What does she have? Is it a cold, a flu? Uh, uh, fiebre? Fever. She a has fever. a fever. Uh, vomito y así como mal del estómago. Okay, yes. You can. Yeah, I can hear your daughter there. And how is she doing yeah. now? Is she feeling better? Yes, uh, she's feeling better. Nice. That is good, Catherine. And it's good that you could stay at home and, and take care of her. So that's nice. So, welcome everyone. Uh, I'm going to start the class with a dictation. I'm going to dictate a question, which is backwards, and you just have to type it, type it um, in the chat. So I'll repeat, I'm going to dictate a question, but the question is backwards. Les voy a dictar una pregunta, pero la pregunta está al revés, backwards. So type it on the chat, okay? And then we will check if we all have the same question. Is it clear, understood, or yep. do you? Okay, excellent. So let's begin. Okay, uh, hold on. W, H, O, W, O, U, L, D, Y, O, U, M, O, S T L I K E T O M E E T, a symptom, question mark. Okay, could you send it please? Can you send the, the question by chat? Let me see what you got. <laughs> Thank you, Anna. Catherine, is it? Can you send your question? I don't listen. You could the question. Okay, you listen. Could. Uh, yes, Anna. Teacher, I I don't listen in the last uh, word. Uh, in the three letter, I don't know. Uh, I I write uh, a little a. Ah, okay. Yes, there are Sorry. some changes. That's okay. And yes, Eric, that's the the right way. So Anna, if you look at Eric's message, that's the way it was. So yours was was very close. 
So that is the question. Who would you most like to meet? Who would you like to meet? So let's begin with you, Eric. If you had the opportunity of meeting anybody, death or alive, who would you like to meet? Um, do you understand, Eric? Please repeat it. If you had the opportunity of meeting, you know, talk to someone in person, who would you like to meet or to know in person? It could be alive or dead. Alguien que ya haya muerto o que esté vivo. Death or alive. Eh, no sé si comprendí bien. Si pudiera hablar o reunirme con alguien, sería. Uh -huh. Si pudiera conocer a um, una persona. Conocer. Ajá. Si tuviera la oportunidad de conocer a una persona. ¿A quién le gustaría conocer? Ya fuera que esa persona haya muerto o esté viva. Um, um, really, uh, I much person. <clears throat> um, I would like. Uh, I would like no. Uh, no sé cómo decirlo. Mm -hmm. um, my, there are many my people. Bro uh -huh. My brother. My brothers. 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 Eh, ¿Cómo se llama? ¿Cómo podríamos decirlo? I, they, they did a, a child, no sé, algo así. Mm, pero sería, they die when they, they were, die. Uh, mm -hmm. okay, when they were little. Or sí, kids. o sea, eh, kids. How many? How many brothers of yours died? Four brothers. Four. Wow, it is yes. a lot. That's a big number. But yes, yes, it would be nice, right? If you could meet your brothers. Okay, Eric, thank you. Now let's listen to Lisette. If you had the opportunity, Lisette, who would you like to meet? I like meet my mother. Your mom? Yes, uh, my mom. Is she dead, Lisette? Or she doesn't live yes. with? Yes. Lisette. I have six year old. Um, como puede decir, casi almost. Mm -hmm. No remember. No remember um, my mother. Yes. You were six, six years old when she passed away. Oh my yeah. God. That's terrible. Okay, Lisa, thank you for sharing that with us. Now let's okay. listen to Monica. Who would you like to meet, Monica? Uh, I go like to meet. My grandmother, she is dead. She, ah, okay. When did she die in, in your case? When did she die? Cuando murió ella? When did she die, Monica? In 2015. Okay, seven years ago. Okay, Monica, thank you for sharing that as well. Now let's continue with Catherine. What about you, Catherine? Who would you like to meet? I would like to meet with my aunt. Who? Uh, Tia. Ah, your aunt. Ah, aunt. 
sorry, and yes. Ah, she, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. She's 32. Um, when I was 20, 22, she died. Ah, uh, okay. Your aunt, you mentioned, right? Yes. And were you very close? Eran bien cercanas? Were you very close? Yes, uh, like um, my second mother and like mm. my grandma for me. Wow, so yeah, she was a, a big part of you. You love yes. her a lot. Yes, okay, a lot. Catherine, thank you. Now we continue with Anna. What about you, Anna? Uh, I like, I would like to meet my grandfather. Uh, because uh, he he died. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, he died five years uh, five years ago, and uh, he told me uh, good histories when mm -hmm. when he was uh, young younger or mm -hmm. young young or alive. Okay, uh, when he was uh, young, uh, it told me good history. Mm -hmm. okay. you, you still remember the stories he told you? Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Ana. And you, Guillermo, who would you like to meet if you had the opportunity? A family member, a famous person, who would it be? I don't know if you are there, Guillermo. Um, ah. My grandmother. Oh, when did she pass away? Uh, well, when I was, uh, well, sorry, when I was, uh, I was seven years seven or years. more or less. <laughs> uh -huh. You were very little. Okay, thank you, Guillermo. And then you, Vane Ramirez, who would it be in your case? Okay, teacher, I, I would you like to meet my grandfather. I don't remember, he, he died at 28, Years ago? Mm -hmm. It was a long time ago. How old were you? How old were you when, when he died? Uh, repeat, please. How? How, uh -huh. How old were you when he died? Uh, he died in my house. ¿Y cuántos años tenía usted cuando él murió? How old were you? Ah, ok. Sorry. It's ok. I, I, I was. Have, I was. Uh, I was. Uh, three years. Three years old. Uh -huh. yeah. But. Were, but uh, I. Good to I but I could like to to meet mm -hmm. uh, for your personality. His personality. His personality. Um, okay. Yes, it will be nice, right? If we could meet people who are yeah. not here <laughs> anymore. Okay, Bunny. Uh -huh. How do you say emprendedor? A pioneer. I Bayern. will send with P. I will send it in the chat. Yeah, pioneer. He was a okay. pioneer in, in businesses. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Thank, Thank you, you Vane. Okay, guys. Well, uh, just feedback, general feedback. When you talk about your age, remember to use the verb. Este, recuerden de utilizar el verb cuando hablen de su edad y si es en past tense pueden decir I was seven or five years old. Okay? No olviden de agregar esto. Old. 
o si no, this is the other option, when I was five. And that's, that's it. You can just say that. All right, guys. So today we will have a, a little review, a little review about past, I'm sorry, present perfect. And then we will have some role plays to practice this. Okay, so we have study present perfect. Let's begin with the structure. Hazel, can you tell us the formula, the structure we use with present perfect, please? Let's remember the formula for present perfect. Yes, subject mm -hmm. plus verb. Mm, there is something else before Hazel. Starts with H. <laughs> okay, has or have. Thank you, yes. Uh, plus verb. Uh, mm -hmm. Plus complement. Thank you very much. And we have to remember that it will be in the past participle form, right? That's the one we have okay. to use. Thank you, Hazel. Okay, so that's the formula. And now, can you give us one example, Angelica? Can you make one sentence using present perfect, please? I, I have worked a lot today. Thank you, correct. I have worked a lot today. Thank you very much. And now, Amanda, can you make a negative sentence, please? Using present perfect. Um, I have not... Um, I have not gone to the supermarket today. Excellent. Thank you to the supermarket today. There it is. And now, Vane Carranza, can you make one question, please, using present perfect? Um, what? What have, um, what have, uh, no, where, where have the pharmacy? Uh -huh. Where yes, have the pharmacy? I, yes, I have. Ah, okay. But in that case, we need the subject. Maybe, I don't know. What do you want to say, Vane? ¿Qué es lo que quiere decir? Eh, ¿Dónde puede haber una farmacia? Ah, ok. No, sería distinto. En ese caso sería como, where, where can I find a pharmacy in that case? Pero siguiendo el modelo de present perfect, podría utilizar where y luego el have, ¿verdad? Que es el auxiliar. Y luego un sujeto. Which subject would you like to use? ¿Qué sujeto le gustaría utilizar? Mm, you. Ok, you and now a verb. Hoy necesitamos un verb. In past participle. Um, you eat. Ok, eaten. That could be it. Podríamos terminarlo ahí. Ahí podría ya quedar la, la question. Thank you, Vane. Entonces, okay. esta es la, la structure that we use in present perfect, right? Now, the use, really quick. Let's talk about the use. Use number one. Can you help us, Marlon? Can you tell us one way to use present perfect? ¿Nos podrías recordar, Marlon? Una manera de utilizar present perfect. One of the ways we can do it. Um, como una manera. Uh -huh. I don't understand. Ah, ok. ¿Cómo o cuándo utilizamos present perfect, Marlon? Uh, ¿Cuándo utilizarías the structure? 
when an activity started in the past mm -hmm. and it continues in the present. Thank you, Marlon. Uh -huh. To indicate that an activity started or began in the past and continues, right? In the present. That is one way to use present perfect. And we have another option. Can you help us with that one, Catherine? What is the other option? The one we studied yesterday. Se recuerda la que veíamos ayer. Yesterday, I don't, I, I wasn't. Oh, you were not yes. here. No, okay. Yes. All right, Lisette, can you help us, Lisette? The other when, option? Okay, when we want to talk about past activities, mm -hmm. but we don't want to mention the time. Thank you very much, Lisette, that's correct. So to talk about past, activities without seeing, without mentioning, sin mencionar, without mentioning, mentioning the time, right? Those are the different ways we can use present perfect. There is still another one. There is another option. So you can use present perfect to show that. Is there something you would like to ask? Do you have a question for me? About present perfect? No sé si quisieran preguntar algo. About this? No? Okay. So if you remember yesterday we talked about Chef. the- Chef, yes, excuse me. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Yes. What is the participle that bear have? Had. had with the eh, lo que sucede es que la plataforma me lo pide pero no me acepta el had no se lo acepta es mm. de lo que me acaba de mandar ahorita sí no sí ah, sí de lo okay. que le mandé vaya ya voy a revisar Amanda para ver qué está pasando uh -huh. ya le le veo y sí pero sí ese es el el past participle had con di ese quedaría Okay, so we will create the conversations, okay? Create a conversation using present perfect, okay? Imagine you haven't seen your friend in five years and you want to catch up. So talk about the things you've done. Imaginen que no han visto a su amigo en unos cinco años y quieren actualizarse o ponerse al día. Hagan preguntas utilizando have, okay? Pueden utilizarlo de, de las dos maneras, okay? And you can use past tense or present tense if necessary, ¿verdad? No solo tienen que usar esos dos tiempos, sino que pueden usar otros tiempos que encuentren apropiados. So we will create that. And before I, I send you to the rooms, I will inform you two things. Antes que los envíe a sus salas, voy a darles dos... Um, recordatorios. El primero, ¿verdad? Como ahora finalizamos el módulo, recuerden de que tienen hasta la medianoche para terminar la plataforma y como nota mínima es 80%. Así que eh, recuerden terminar eso. Amanda, yo le voy a ayudar para con la que me, me pidió ahí. Y lo otro que me mencionaron de recordarles fue de las reinscripciones que están abiertas y último día para mandar documentos es entre el 11 de febrero y 14 de febrero como fecha límite. Así que eh, les iba a recordar eso y hoy sí yo los voy a, a enviar a sus salas, to the breakout rooms. Just give me one moment. Okay, there you have it.
Nice to see you. Nice to see you again. Hi, Amanda. Hello, Eric. Sorry to interrupt. Hello. Amanda, I sent the info. Ya le mandé ahí la información. Creo que Gracias. estaba poniendo hat, pero no era con hat. Esos van con das. Ahí se lo envié para que lo vea. <risa> pero en el paréntesis tiene have. En el, en el primero. Eh, déjeme revisar. Donde dice where must have some. No ah, no, no, ahí sí está, ahí sí, no, en el, ajá, no, ahí sí está bien, en la, déjeme ver que no encuentro, aquí lo voy a ver, en donde está el participio es, quiero ver, ah, no, el participio es, eh, déjeme ver, no, esto sí, o oh, no sé si quiere me lo manda después porque yo creo que le, les voy a quitar mucho tiempo de él. Para sí, mejor su Ajá. Ajá. Ok, Bye. y yo le explico para que ahí quede claro eso. Uh -huh. ¿Do Bye. you have any questions before I leave? No sé si tienen alguna duda antes que me marche. No, you're fine. No. Ok, see you in one moment. Bye. Uh -huh. Hello, Catherine, Guillermo, Hello. Marlon. Do you Hello. need help? Hello, teacher. Do you have questions? Uh, no. Oh. You're fine. Yes. Okay, all right. I was just checking on you. I'm going to visit other rooms. Okay, see you in a moment. Bye bye. Bye. In here, and in here, this. Hi, Bunny. Hello, Heidi. Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> Do you need help? Do you have questions for me? And um, no, teacher. Oh. No. Thank you, Heidi. You're okay. Está ayudando bastante, Bunny. Ah, okay, excellent. Okay, Vanna, <laughs> sounds good. Okay, I will let you continue. See you in a moment. Bye bye. Hi, Hello, Monica. Hello, Anna. I'm just checking on you. Do you need help? Uh, yes, teacher. Uh, and one question. Yes. Uh, is correct what, how, visited? You places or any places. You have to say which places have you visited. Ah, okay. Es que es una es una pregunta como en qué lugar qué lugares he visitado. Uh -huh. Correct. You can use which or what. What ah. is also correct. What places have you uh -huh. visited? Okay. Have you visited? Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. And when you ask, you can say, is it correct? Instead of it is correct, you can say changing the position. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Teacher. Anything else Thank you. you may need? Uh, that's it. Okay. Yeah. See you in a moment. Bye bye. Thank you. And uh, the university. Hi, and Hazel. Hi. Sorry to interrupt. I'm just checking on you. Is there something I could do for you? Do you need help? No, yo creería no. que vamos no. por avanzando. Okay. And <laughs> how you. much time do you think you need? ¿En cuánto creen que estarán listas? No es muy extenso, porque ya tenemos algo, la verdad. You have an idea. Well, let me check. Right now, I'm, I'm like checking out. Ahorita estoy haciendo como un censo para hacerme una idea. But in that case, uh, continue. Okay, continue in the meantime. Y ya ahorita voy a ir a ver cómo siguen unos grupos que me faltan ver. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. All right. See you.
Así como, ¿has comido alguna vez pizza con ese amigo? Así. Hello. Hi, Ana. Hello, Pane. Uh, can I help you? Do you need help? Eh, yo tenía una pregunta, teacher. Uh -huh. eh, la conversación, en la conversación se pueden utilizar diferentes tiempos. Yes. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Ok. En you, Vane? Do you need help? No, teacher, al momento creo que sí me ha despejado ciertas dudas, Angélica. Y creo ah, que estamos okay. haciendo lo mismo. Ok. And how much time do you think you need? ¿Cómo en cuánto creen que termina? Eh... La quieren muy larga o muy cortita. <ríe> like a minute or two? Como un minuto, dos, conversando. Yo ah, creo pues sí. que... De nuevo. tiempo. <ríe> ah, ok. Ok. So, if not, que okay, si no, tal vez pueden improvisar. Si la saco antes que terminen, tal vez improvisan el, el final. En caso no, okay, no lo logren ahí terminar. Ok, teacher. Ok, so in that case I'm going to go. I, I'll see you in one moment. Bye, bye. Hi guys, welcome back. We will wait a couple of seconds. I'm just waiting for your classmates to return and then we will continue. Okay, so now that you're back, we will listen to your conversations. If you didn't finish, please improvise, okay? Try to improvise the ending. Si en caso no terminaron la última parte, traten de, de improvisar, por lo menos el final, ¿verdad? El, la despedida. 
Okay, we will start with Guillermo, Catherine, and Martin. Okay, teacher. Only give me a second. Mm -hmm. Um, Catherine, do you have the 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 conversation? Yes. Oh, so sorry. Uh, yes, you know this coffee is great, and the K two. Yes, it is delicious. Did you invite it to Marlo? Sure. Hey, see that? He's coming here now. Hi, friends. It's a very moment to drink a coffee. Marlon, please, please stay a seat and tell us where have you been all this time? Thank you, Guillermo. I have been good. I am enjoying it with my family and I enjoy my free time too. Really, that's great. What place did you visit, Marlon? I have visited, visited the beach, Ataco City. Um, what about you, Catherine? Uh, well, in a vacation, I visited the beach, the Cocoa Beach, and, uh, and the Alegria. I like. Oh, that's good. What about you, Guillermo? Actually, I have been in my house all this time, and well, I am now taking a coffee with my friends. That's all, teacher. Okay. That's all. Excellent. Very good job. Thank you very much. I like it a lot, Catherine, Guillermo, and Marlon. It was very natural, and I like that you acted. So thank you, guys. Now let's continue with Haiti and Bunny. Okay. And um, hi, Heidi. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I more or less. Uh, more or less, try to get my driver's license, but I didn't have time. And you drive? Yes, I drive. I was very glad to know that you are well. <laughs> okay. Glad to uh, see you, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, Heidi, uh, what? Uh, no. Heidi, let me see. <laughs> um, have you ever visited your family in your vacation? Yeah, I visited my parents in Chalchuapa. Uh, now live in San Salvador. Uh, that is very cool. Uh, in the house of my father, my brothers, my son. Uh, in the vacation, visited the beach, uh, park, it played. Okay. okay. Very good. Thank you, Heidi. Thank Bye. You. Bye. <laughs> okay, good job. Thank you, Heidi, and thank you, Bunny. I like that you use have you ever, Bunny. And Heidi understood perfectly what you were saying. So you guys answered accordingly. So thank you, Heidi and Bunny. Now let's continue with Anne, Anne, Anna and Monica. Sorry, Anna. <laughs> no problem, teacher. Okay. Uh, I start. Uh, Hello, Monica. How are you? Hello. 
Hello, hello, Monica. Are you there? Or maybe she went. Oh, okay, there she is. Monica? Hi, Anna. Ah. Hi, Anna. Well, um, you? Oh, hi, so nice, Monica. Uh, uh, Monica, what, uh, what have done you in these years ago? What have what have done you in these years ago, Monica? Uh, I had studied English. Okay. I have and I had gone to the J and you. Oh. Uh, I visited any places. Uh, I visited. Uh, I have visited Mexico, and the one years ago, uh, I have visited Basilica de Guadalupe, and I have visited Puebla, and finally I have visited Tasco. It's a good travel. Cool. It is a. Uh precious to tell to you sorry monica i can i can hear you it is a uh, precious to take to you visit it sorry it is a pleasure to talk to you oh yes is a uh, pleasure travel? Sorry. Okay, Monica. Take care. See you next time. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Okay, Anna. Thank you and thank you, Monica. We had some technical issues. So that happens sometimes with the internet. But thank you, Anna, you created different questions and it was very natural. Thank you uh, to you as well, Monica. Now let's continue with Hazel and Lisette. Okay. Okay. Uh, hello, Lisette, it's a pleasure to see you. Hello, Hazel, it's a pleasure too. What have you done this year? I have traveled to Mexico and I live it two years there. So exciting. I have finished the university and I have worked a lot. Have you ever married? No, I haven't. And you? I have married since five ago. Congratulations. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Bye. Okay, Lisa, thank you. You did very well and Hazel as well. I have some, some feedback to give you, but I will give it to you guys when we finish the, the conversations. We will listen to Amanda and Eric now. I am start. Okay. Uh, Eric, how long did that see you? Hello, Amanda. Nice to see you again. Oh, yes, of course. It's the same for me. And where do you live, Eric, uh, right, and right now? I live in Colombia. Really? Uh, how long How long does you live there? I live here since 2020. Oh, it's fantastic. What, what have you done? Um, I have done many interesting, I tell you, I, I have uh, had 
travel for a lot of country on my on vacation. And, and, what, and what about you? I work in a textile factory and I study in a university. Oh, and what's that? What does your study? I study textile engineering. Oh, it's great. Have you visited some series in Colombia? Uh, sorry, please repeat. Uh, uh, have you visited some series in Colombia? Yes, I will. I will visit in Hollywood. Perfect. Nice to see you, Eric. Thank you. Nice to see you. Okay. Thank you, Amanda. <laughs> and thank you, Eric. And Eric, you you have many activities, right? You are very busy with your life. Uh, you have many things to do. <laughs> and thank you, Amanda. <laughs> Good questions. I like the, the way you express your ideas and the connectors you use. They were excellent. And lastly, we will listen to Angelica in Bane Carranza. Hello, Angelica, how are you? Hello, Bane, I'm fine, and you? Fine, thanks. Angelica, do you have any friends that you don't see uh, a long time? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Oh, Angelica, have you ever eaten pizza with the friends? Yes, I have. I eaten a lot of pizza, a lot of pizza with my friend when we finished class at the university. And oh. you, Vanessa, have you ever eaten pizza? Yes, I have eaten pizza, the hongos. Okay, that's really uh, delicious. Okay, well, Bane. Well, Angelica, I see you goodbye. It's a was pleasure talking with you. I hope you have a good day. Thank you, Bane. Nice to see you too. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, thank you, Vane. Thank you, Angelica. You sounded very happy during the conversation. That's great. And it was nice too. Well, an applause to all of you guys. You did very well. So congratulations. You were able to have a conversation in English. And you use different, different tenses, right? So that's excellent, excellent work. I wanted to congratulate you. And I'm going to give you some feedback to improve okay to do it even better so for example when you use the verb enjoy uh, this phrase in english is not very common it's better if you use the verb in the base form like this i sorry i enjoy this is the option we, we use the most. I'm enjoying is not too common. So it would be better if you use, I enjoy. And then you continue the, the, the sentence. And then this, this, uh, these words are pronounced driver's license, okay? It will be driver's license. When you use vacations, use the preposition on. No in, we say on vacations. That will be the, the correct preposition, on vacations. Then the, there was a question, remember when you use what or which, after those two WH questions, you need to use a noun, okay? After the noun, you can use have or has, subject and complement. 
that will be the, the formula or the structure we use. What or which, noun, have, subject, and complement. An example, which, which parks have you seen? Which parks have you seen? Okay, this is the noun. Or you can use what? What parks have you seen? Okay, those were the comments I wanted to give you, okay, just in case. Solo les quería dar estos pequeños puntos. Con enjoy, en, según la gramática en inglés, enjoy es un non-action verb. Quiere decir que usualmente el verbo enjoy casi no se utiliza con ing. Similar al verbo want, va a ser muy raro que oigan el verbo wanting. Así que aunque el suceso o la actividad esté pasando en el momento, no vamos a utilizar ing, sino que vamos a utilizar el verbo en, en su forma base. I want, I enjoy, and then you continue the sentence. Y luego ustedes continúan su oración. De ahí solo eh, la pronunciación de esta, ¿verdad? Driver's license. Cuando utilicen vacations, esta sería la preposición correcta. On vacations. Y no es la correcta. Entonces quedaría on y luego solo les mencionaba la estructura para hacer preguntas con what or which. Luego de cualquiera de esos dos, no vamos a colocar have or you o el sujeto, sino que van a colocar el, el objeto del que estén hablando. Por ejemplo, si hablan de parques, celulares, cars, houses... Ahí iría, ¿verdad? Luego de what or which, ponen su noun y luego ya la estructura que hemos estado practicando de preguntas. Have you or has she is su verb in the past participle form. Okay, so those comments. Do you have questions for me? About the platform or about present perfect? No, we're fine. And what about the platform, guys? Uh, Catherine, did you have a question or a comment? Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Quería preguntar cuando se utilice went para pregunta, ¿cómo sería la estructura? Con when and present perfect. Yeah. When have you Con esto sí quedaría la normal, por decirlo así. When have you worked at night or in the night? Quedaría así, Catherine. Luego del WH, normal. Thank you. Uh -huh. Teacher, Perfecto. en la plataforma tengo una oración en donde me dicen que tengo que poner el, el participio de esta oración y... Es have en paréntesis y dice eh, lo que nos dan es he ever ear, eaten, die, food before, entre paréntesis have y que ponga el participio tendría que ser have, pero me sale incorrecto. Y está en computadora, Amanda. Eh, ahorita. Uh -huh. Para que me muestre ese, ese exercise. Eh, déjeme ver, mm, se me va a hacer un poco difícil, creo. Ah, ok. Si no me lo manda ahí en... No estaba entre las, entre las que me No, 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 no este poco. es... No. Ah, Ahorita okay. se lo voy a mandar. Ok, sí, envíemelo ahí para ver qué, qué es lo que pasó. A veces puede ser algo bien... Ah, ya lo envió, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Y está poniendo had con D. Had, ajá, uh -huh. sí, had. Es has. Has. has, Amanda. Uh -huh. Ajá. El, Porque el participio. No, el participio es had, pero ahí no le está pidiendo el participio, sino el auxiliar. El auxiliar mm, de present perfect. Ok. Ya sería has Gracias, teacher. Ever. Uh -huh. Ok. Gracias. All right, guys. Any other questions you may have? Nadie tiene ya más problemas con la plataforma. 
¿Estamos bien ahí? Teacher, entonces uh -huh. esas dos son excepciones. What y ¿Cuál? which, la forma, la estructura. Ah, uh -huh. Yes, son exceptions. Igual que who podría ser como una excepción a la regla. Porque como no conocemos el sujeto, no lo ponemos. Solo ponemos who has eaten pupusas. Pupusas today, por ejemplo. Okay, con who es otra excepción. Porque como no sabemos quién, podría ser Vane, all of us, we, they, no se coloca. Así que es otra excepción. To the rule. Okay, guys. Well, in that case, we will finish the, the class here. It was a pleasure to be with you these weeks. I hope you have learned a lot. And well, I hope you can continue studying English, okay? You are very intelligent and you have done an excellent work. If you have any questions or you need help with the platform, send me a message and I will help you after 10 because I have another class right now. But nice to, that, nice to meet you guys. Take care. Goodbye. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank, Thank you, teacher. Thank you. 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 Thank you.